Scranton native Matt McGloin was back in his hometown last week to support the relocation of a child care center in Lackawanna County. We were able to catch up with McGloin for a few minutes to talk football, including the next stop of his pro career. And that is the subject of our sports spotlight. We've seen him light up the scoreboard at West Scranton. We've seen him go from walk on to starter at Penn State. And we watched him play five seasons in the NFL. Now Matt McGloin is taking on a new challenge, the revived XFL. It's different this time, um, and we're really excited about it. A lot of people are excited about it. I spent the past few days up in New York meeting everybody throughout the organization. So uh, really, really thrilled and uh, very excited about it. Now 29 years old, McGloin is getting another shot at professional football. He was assigned to the New York Guardians, which will play their home games in East Rutherford, New Jersey. I'm playing for New York, I mean, uh, something I've always wanted the chance to do, and then being able to have family and friends make that short drive to MetLife to be able to see me play on Saturdays and Sundays doesn't get any better. It's a great fit. This version of the XFL will not be quite as extreme as the previous incarnation, but McGloin is intrigued by some of the differences in the rules from traditional football. I think it'll be a faster play. Um, you know, one of the rules that sticks out is that the clock stops after every play in uh, under two minutes. So everybody have an opportunity to win, doesn't matter how many timeouts you have, so it'll be good football. And when the league kicks off in February, McGloin will be one of the most experienced players on his team with a wealth of NFL knowledge. He says he's looking forward to a leadership role. There are some younger guys on our team, so I feel like I can help those guys. You know, this is how we work at a professional level. This is how, you know, things are done. Everything's fast paced, you know, so it'll be cool to try to teach some of the younger guys.